Hey everybody, it's Robert from Possibility in Action. And I'm going to take you on a longer walk because actually I have a lot of shit that I want to say. <laughs> and I can't do the whole thing of doing a long video and sitting in my house and sitting behind a desk and doing all the lighting and, you know, like I'm supposed to be some sort of like director or something like that. I do this because I enjoy it. I do this because I want to share things, but I'm certainly not looking to become some sort of cinematic whatever the fuck, right? And so, all right, you've already heard in my voice, my language, that I'm in this space of really noticing how completely frustrated people are. And it's making me frustrated because there is this unbelievable belief that everything has to be perfect and we have to be positive and we have to be optimistic. And you know what? We have to be realistic. All this other stuff is great. It, it, it is great to be in a space where things don't overwhelm you. But the positivity of it's all going to work out and everything else, um, and I can't show that I'm frustrated. I can't show that I'm pissed off. Um, I want to cry. I want to scream. I cry. I scream. I, I, I do fucking everything, right? So um, why? Why is this the case? Why can't we see that we feel frustration? Like frustration exists for a reason. It is a signal, an internal signal of cognitive dissonance in it that's really what it is it's telling us something is off right so if you're frustrated you're frustrated because you know something could be different you're not aligned things aren't working out for you maybe it's friends that are toxic maybe it's friends that are trying to keep you in a certain place um, I've worked with a lot of people who they're surrounded by people that like that they're broken because it makes them feel good, right? They can fix the people that are broken. They can support the people that are broken. And there's somebody in front of them that's broken, so they don't feel broken, right? So that's just an example. Um, it could be work. And then we fall into this victim mentality of, yeah, but I need the money. Of course, we all need money. I need money. We all need money. But it doesn't mean we prostitute ourselves in a job because that only destroys our self-esteem. So if you're not satisfied where you are in your life with work, then look at other opportunities. You know, the thing is, there's such a fear that things are going to go wrong if we change and let me stay where I am because, you know, the devil I know is better than the devil I don't know or whatever that fr phrase is. But the fact that you're sitting there and it's eating away at you, I want you to think of it as cancer. Plain and simple. That pit in your stomach, hating to go to jo a job every day, is like a cancer. Okay? Is that the way you want to spend the rest of your life? And then we think, oh yeah, but I'll get to go to a vacation and all this other stuff. And um, then we're living in an escapist life, right? I'll just, I'll suffer now and then I will escape and I'll replenish my energy. Those ups and downs aren't great either. So what I want you to think about in all of this, and I'm, I'm going to do more of these videos because first I want to do them, <laughs> plain and simple, all right? Whether people listen or not is a different story, but um, I have dealt with a lot of stuff in my life, okay? Some of you know what I've done and haven't done and all this other stuff, okay? My dad was a dick, okay, plain and simple, uh, violent alcoholic, and taught me a lot of lessons, taught me about what I didn't want to be. Um, had financial issues, had an amazing wife who died of breast cancer, decided to reimagine my whole life and I moved to Italy not speaking the language not doing anything and having to start all over from scratch and that's when I realized more than anything else that's what it's all about 
You know, I think at the end of the day, let's say I, I'm, I'm not a religious person. I am a spiritual person, but let's use the, you know, we were born in the image and likeness of God or whatever the, the phrase actually is, right? We're born as creative beings, but it doesn't mean we just create products. Okay, we create ourselves. So I want you to think about that. I want you to think about what I've said today. Why? Because, you know, I, I think it's important. Who am I? I'm just some guy that has had some shit happen in his life and is sharing it. Um, and look at what's around you and, and, and feel that frustration if you're frustrated, but don't let it fester. Okay, that, that's, that's where I'm going. That's a direction I'm going in personally with what I do, um, coaching and everything else, and my books and new books that are going to come out is feel the frustration, use the frustration, feed on the frustration in a constructive way to build something new. Take care. Ciao.